Yo, what's good, gang? Yeah, Bumble Cut. Yeah, Yo, Bumble Cut, dog. You like hip hop music? Yeah, I do, bro. All right, all right. No, Porgy Show, Porgy Show, Porgy Show. Oh, Porgy Show. All right, all right. Okay. Yeah, and just leave me a message. I'll give you a link to my YouTube. I got you. I got you. Are you in school? Yeah. I thought they took all the phones away from all the kids. Nah, bro. We just built different, you know. Oh, word. Okay. Education, Get homie. I got you. All right. What up? Hello, hello. Shit. Nobody on this damn thing today. Mm. Shit, I'm on switch. Okay. Let's go to... Hello, hello. Yo. Yo, are you EDP? Huh? Never mind. You like hip hop music? Oh. What up, what up? What's popping? What's cracking? You like hip hop music at all, homie? I can't even hear you. Is your microphone on? Go on my Instagram and check out my hip hop music. Tell me what you think. I have to go on after. So I'm just telling everybody to go on to mine and then I add you. That's all I'm doing on this is this networking my Instagram and my YouTube Instagram. This is why I'm here. I'm here to network. 100%. This is all I'm on here for is networking. So yeah, I'll go on yours and uh, do I know who you are? No, I wouldn't know. You're in the States, right? I'm in Canada. I'm in, I'm in Canada. So I'm not too familiar with a lot of American stuff. Do you have a microphone? I can't hear you. So yeah, when when you when you go on mine and leave me a message, then I'll go on your thing. That's what I'm saying. Go on mine, leave me a message, and then I'll send you all the links to my YouTube and everything. Because I'm on the computer right now, so I... Yeah, no, but I'm on the computer right now, so I can't go on. Actually, wait, wait. You know what? Hold on one second. Don't click off. Let me see if I can go on it right now. Hold on. I forgot you can click a different screen. Jeff, so what's your name again on your thing is, um, oh, you have a lot of people. So maybe you can help me get people because my YouTube only has like 200 people and my Instagram only has like a couple of hundred. That's what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to get my thing up. Chris Hemsworth. Okay, let me go and get it on. That's why I'm on this app. Maybe I can meet people like you and get my shit boosted. Um, Chris. Is that it? How do you spell it? H E M is worth. Now I gotta go back and check. H E M S W. Okay, let me go back and check now. And, um. Yeah, there you go at the top. Okay. So, yeah, add me then. <clears throat> okay, now I'm back. So, what, what do you do on there? And I'll talk about. Okay, I'll leave a message. Whereabouts in the states are? Oh, you're 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 in Hollywood. I'm in Toronto. Toronto, you know Toronto, Canada. You know where Drake is from. The weekend. Justin Bieber's from Ontario too. You're Australian. Oh, if you go on my, I have a pet kangaroo. If you go on my thing, you'll see me and my pet kangaroo. Oh, just tell me you were talking to Georgie Porgy and he won't stop talking all day. If you go, yo, I saw Georgie online. He'll be like, oh, Georgie, Georgie. I'm like. I'm probably the next person in Toronto that's, if not as famous, but more famous than him. And uh, what's this thing? The whole online thing is like, back in the days, I was the guy who used to sell my hip hop CDs out of my trunk of my car, that kind of thing. So I'm a street guy. So the whole internet thing is, but everybody knows me. So everyone's like, you should have a YouTube, you should have an Instagram. 
but it's working to Instagram and YouTube. It's different. You got to know how to you work. You don't like to talk on these things? That's why you don't have a mic? They're calling you Thor. Why? You look like a guy in the... Are you in a movie playing Thor? You're in a movie playing Thor. What's the name of the movie? How? But how long have you been on this thing? Like more than a year? I just got on it a couple days ago, and it's like there's some people are cool, like you seem cool, but a lot of people are weirdos on this thing. But that's the internet. How long have you been acting? Acting's a thing I, I myself want to try and get into, also besides my music. <clears throat> I don't think maybe it's easier out there because you're in Hollywood, but there's more. What I find is, in, especially in the States and in L.A., Hollywood, that kind of thing, more people looking for stuff like that, They're looking for artists and actors. Here, it's kind of like, yeah, if you, you know somebody and you get on, on a commercial or something, something might go on, but they shoot a lot of movies here, but getting in the business, because like I said, I've been doing music and stuff for a long time, and no one's ever really... But a lot of people told me I should go to the States. I should go to the States and check it out. And that's where, you know, Drake and them, they're from here, but they blew up down there. But I imagine everybody and their mother goes there. Oh, you've been doing it a long time. Okay. And that's what a lot of people don't realize sometimes when they see somebody who's established on something. They don't realize how much work they've actually put in. How long it actually took them to get there. Yeah. And some people, the very rare few, get a little something happens and then bam. But I think with anything you do in life, it takes work. You got to put that work in. But the people who are watching, they're just like, oh, they just think it happens overnight or it'll just happen without actually trying. That's why there's only very few people who actually do make it because very few human beings have that work ethic. Or that dedication. Like I can say for myself. I've done music. I've done this. But I never really 100 put my full self into it. And I guess now I'm. I guess maybe become a little bit older. And I'm thinking okay my time's not too much left. Per se. I'm going in full throttle. Trying. Yo what's your take on all this P. Diddy thing? What, 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 do, you, what, do, you, what do you think about all that? With what's going on and everything. Like, what's the talk in Hollywood about all that? Because, uh, to me, I think, like, especially a lot of guys like that in the 80s and 90s is when they pop, when they became popular. And so they got a lot of power and a lot of stuff around them. But I don't know the guy personally, so I don't know what it is. Everyone just likes to. What I find is when something's going on, people like to throw someone under the bus. I'm like, where's all these homies? All the people he put on and gave jobs to should be popping up and saying, listen, stop this. Leave the guy alone. Log one. But the cops went after him and they grabbed him. So at the end of the day, he's somebody's brother. He's somebody's father. And I just hope the best for the guy. Plus, a lot of times, especially because I've been around a lot of stars and stuff, people party and act weird and act different. And it's not. Things can get out of control, and more times it's not even the guy's fault. It's just the stuff around him. Or, on the other hand, maybe he was what it is. But you know what happens now. One person says something, and then it's a snowball effect. Next thing you know, everybody's trying to cash in. Yeah, exactly. There's worse. They just, you know, unfortunately he got put it in the light and now it's on him and that's why when it happens like that they throw it all on him especially some other people who are probably worse they're the ones saying yeah focus on him don't look at me <laughs> focus on him that's dope anyways um did i get the message okay yeah i can't leave a message now
Yeah, people have secrets, but like for me personally, keep working, don't stop me. Yeah, like for me personally, I'm like what I consider just a regular guy. Like I've never really done anything too weird out of the order except maybe got too drunk at a party. So I'm like, yeah, if it happened to me, it'd be like, yeah, it'd be boring because it'd be like nothing really wanting. But some people, like, you know, yeah, they're, they're into some. But I figure too, especially when you're famous and stuff, why... You shouldn't go around randoms. You should have like 20 people you party with and that's it. And that's your, and especially if you're like guys that turn into like girls, have like five hoes. And that's, those are your hoes. Like just, and they're good. They start jumping around randoms and then they got all these people that they don't really like you or they're out for not, not your best interest. And you got all this weird stuff popping up. Plus, yeah, like you said, it must be hard. Even when you make friends, are they really your friends? Or are they just there for the... Yeah, it must be kind of shit. It might be. It must. Be. Now that I'm talking to you, I'm thinking like, yeah, the whole famous thing might be kind of loopy. Kevin. Oh, Kevin Hart. Oh, he's fucked. You see, and Jay Z too. Oh man. So that see, that's why I'm like, now that it happened, some people are like, oh shit. Some people are gonna. You're gonna start seeing some people who are in the limelight disappear, fade away. Because they're like, oh, shit. If this guy's talking, we're done. But it's like, the, what's the guy? Who was the, the Weinstein? That guy, he got WAP before. As you may know, I don't know as, as a male actor how it's like. But, you know, female actors, they go for an audition. A man's like, yo, do you really want the part? Like, how bad do you want the part? Like, wah, wah. And especially, like I said, in the 80s and 90s, before the whole internet, yeah, but you see, and what I could honestly say about Kevin is with those kind of guys and what I noticed in the States, especially with the black guys in the States, when they start getting to a level where they think like they've so-called made it or they're in a certain zone, they're kind of like, no, I'm not regular black anymore. I'm this black. And then when they get around these kind of guys, they're like, well, if you want to stay in this zone, you got to do some of the stuff we do. This is what we do in this zone. So they kind of just like, okay. I'm new here. Show me Wagwan. So whoever they meet first, start saying, well, we do this and we dress like this and we talk like that. And if you want to get stay in the zone or elevate, this is what you do. So some of these guys are probably like, ah, and also too, like you, you might notice yourself when you're known, you're not, you can't just go to the mall. You, can, you move different. So it becomes like, well, this is our zone. And this is what we do in our zone. Next thing you know, you're doing some shit that you normally wouldn't do. And then if it time it goes over time, next you know you find yourself like, what am I doing? Or you're like, woo! Until this moment, and now you're like, oh shit, what happened? It's a tricky, tricky thing. Life, life can be easy and life can be trippy. How come? You, so your mic doesn't work, or you just don't talk to people on these things? How did you get your Instagram up to like those kind of numbers? So it's, it's just because of the work you've put in and just what it is. Oh, you don't know how to use your mic. You're on a laptop computer though, because on mine, when I go on, oh, actually, I couldn't even tell you how to do it. Yeah, it should just be on your computer. But yeah, I guess you're like for your like your Instagram and that kind of stuff. Just because over the years of you working and doing stuff, you just accumulated. So when you put out an Instagram, it just pop like that. So you're you're a child actor. Like, what age did you start at? Were you in the Mickey Mouse Club? I don't think you're that old. So is that a new movie or it's a movie that's coming out? That's one of the things, too, why I want to get with these some of these movie-making guys. So do some hip-hop, do some scores. A lot of, Some guys told me, that, yeah, you can get like your music in the movie or your music in a video game, this kind of stuff. You weren't in Toronto for TIFF, were you? We just had TIFF a little while ago. Hold on, let me see if I can send a link in the thing there. You can start by creating a... Well, that's what I'm trying to do on my YouTube channel. What I find with my YouTube channel is because I was just... And that's why if you go on my YouTube, you'll see it. It's just me, like, at parties and 
And I'm so like I said, because I was that guy always in the street, I've been everywhere. So a guy like Drake, it's not like my buddy, but if he sees me, he's like, oh, it's that guy. He's seen me everywhere. And then as he became more popular, people just assume we were friends and stuff. But like one of my friends, my good friends, I actually know is Director X. He shoots all his videos. So X would call me and be like, yo, I'm shooting a video. Come through. Meet some people. Network. And so I was that guy. Just pops up everywhere. And they're like, oh, what do you do? What do you do? And especially a guy like Director X said to me, yo, Georgie, you need to tap into what you do and, and home in on it and, and attack it. Like if you rap, then rap. If you're being a personality, be a personality. So I kind of just touch things here and there and people know who I am, but I never really focus in on one thing. So even my friend said my YouTube channel's all over the place. He's like, it, it's entertaining, but it's there's no... With YouTube, I feel like you have to be consistent. Have you ever made a film? Because the YouTube is like, yeah, you have to be consistent and... It's work. It's work, man. The YouTube thing. I, I Even when my, before I started the channel, I told my friend, when I started YouTube, I'll blow up. I know everybody. I've been everywhere. It'll be easy. And I'm like, I only have 200 subscribers. And I'm like, what the hell? And when you when I send you the link to it, you'll see I got crazy videos. Like, crazy videos. Like, I look at the videos and I'm like, wow, this is dope. But on YouTube, I'm not dope. Okay. There we go. Now I sent the thing. Yeah, this this OM um, TV thing is lagging my thing. So with Netflix, so you like, um, so you acted in the thing, or you actually produced it or made something on it? Can you hear that music? How do I advertise my content? That's what I'm saying. How do I advertise my content? My friend. So long story short is he's a good friend of mine that we always did like street hustling together. We used to sell stuff, clothes and this kind of stuff out of the trunk of his car type thing. But on the side, he would always be making websites for people. And then one day he said to me, I'm not doing the hustle no more. I'm going to build websites and sell websites. I started laughing. I'm like, how are you going to sell websites? There's GoDaddy and all. Long story short, he made millions. Yeah, a lot of people tell me too, yeah. Do what you like, yeah. It, it, you know what I find is, if you chase money, you don't make money. But if you just chase what you're doing, money just comes. And to like broke people, it's hard to tell them that because they just want things. They don't want to have the nice cars, but they don't get it. You, you, you take your energy and time and put it into what you do and you'll be okay. And the money depends on how you, you work your business. But if you're just chasing money, money, trying to get money, money type thing, you're not really, you know, you're not. They always saw me like, now they have this kind of money, but they're like, see me in a Lambo or see me in a Ferrari or see me around Lambos or Ferraris or nice clothes and stuff. So they're like, but then they go to the the, the music things and the, and, the, and the video things and they don't see me. So they're like, how does this guy, and, and they, they probably know a lot of drug dealers and they know I'm not a drug dealer. So they're like, how does this guy make money? How is he in the Lamborghini? But I'm just the kind of guy, just I just find shit. And shit just happens to be around me all the time. So I've never really chased money, but I say, like, I'm not broke, but I'm not rich, but I'm all right. But as, like, X and, like, my guy Christmas List said, you could be better. You could be a better version of you. And you could really get the Georgie Porty show really popping if you focus. So I think that's what I'm trying to do now is just focus. Ah, uh, you're focused on what you're doing. So, it's, and that's, see, that's my problem. I try and do scatterbrain. I try and do too many things. Oh, so do your, your contracts stipulate like, oh, you can't do this. You can't do that type thing. I should fix what? Fix me. Ah. The energy, the energy. Like I said, people know me, but I'm not known yet, but I'm working on it. Yeah, but you know what? The bodyguards, 
I think people should walk with bodyguards because, uh, how do I per se, normal people who aren't famous, they see famous people, they lose their mind. They act crazy. They do weird stuff. And if you're famous, like probably your level or Drake level, oh shit. The way, see the way Drake moves? He's smart. He's so smart. Famous people don't have real friends. You see what, what how crazy it is? Hence, like what I said in the beginning of our conversation, the hard work you have to put in to be you. All the angles you have to deal with. I like your name. You have like a, a star name. Is that like, just have like, like, uh, what is it? What is it? Their famous name, and then you have your real name type of thing. It's probably none of my business, but I mean, like, I'm like, some people, like, maybe their last name's not their real last name, that kind of thing. But you know, some people do do that. Shit, I gotta check out your stuff, man. See, see what, what kind of skills you got, homie. It's crazy. I seen um, who's the guy that plays uh, Wolverine? Who Jackman? I seen him in a convenience store, and he's standing right next to me. And I was like, "Hey, what's up? How you how you doing?" Blah blah. blah. I, my thing is when I see people who are famous type, I try and play it off like I don't know who they are. I don't like, "Hey, let me get your autograph." I just kick it with them and say, hey, "What up? What up?" And that's it. And I looked at him, but I was all like, I guess I looked upset. He goes, "What's wrong?" I said, "Man, you're fucking Wolverine, and I don't have a camera. This sucks." And he goes, oh, no, I get that a lot. It's not me. And even when he spoke, I said, I know. Ah, and I just walked away. And he chased me down. And he said, bro, it's okay, blah, blah, blah. And I said, why are you following me? This sucks. Like, I met you and I don't have a camera. And he was just, like, laughing and stuff like that. Is, I don't know stars. It's get crazy. If you do, this is crazy. If you do go on my Instagram and you scroll down, you'll see pictures with me and, like, Errol Smith and Mick Jet, and Taylor Swift. You'll see some crazy ass pictures of me. I bump into a lot of people, but I don't know who everybody is. So some people I meet, and I have no idea. I don't really watch movies. I'm not really, per se, a fan of anything. I'm just busy always trying to be me, do me, create me, and I'm always on road. So sometimes I'll meet people like that, and I'm like, I don't know who they are. It was one guy I met. Oh, shit. I don't even remember his name, but I met him downtown. And I find in the States, you guys have a lot of that paparazzi, people chasing you, trying to climb your fence, rip off your clothes. Kind of here in Canada, especially Toronto, we just don't know. So you could be walking out street in Toronto and no one will really bother you. So I find a lot of stars here will just be walking around. And me, because I'm a guy who's out there walking around, I bump into them. And I guess... As you can see, I'm a talkative person. And after a while, they can realize, okay, this guy's kind of cool. And some guys be like, this guy, this guy probably knows how to party. And one guy was like, yo, I want to go to a party. I want to go to a party. So I was like, yeah, I'm going to a party. Like, whatever. And he's like, yeah, I'm going to a party. Let's go. And he was with some dudes who were his bodyguards. But he told them to lay back. And one of them came up to me and said, listen, this guy's an important guy. And they took a picture of my face. Like, we, we like, you know, if anything happens... You know, you, we'll find you in your city. And I was just like, what the fuck are these guys talking to? I didn't catch it. I didn't catch on. And I said, whatever. And then I left. I thought his friends were just weirdos. Me and this guy, in the, I took him on after hours. And we're partying, we're partying, we're partying. I don't know how you party. But this guy's like, hey, you know, can you get me some of this? Get me some of that. I'm like, yeah, whatever. And I got whatever he needed. And partying is partying. And then somebody walked by that recognized him. And they were like, oh, my God. Ah, ah, and they started freaking out. And I was like, I thought it was like a fight was breaking out or something was happening. So I kind of grabbed him to protect him. And I looked behind me. And we're, there's a wall behind us. So I'm like, what are they freaking out about? And they come towards him. And I was, and he's like, oh, I got to go. I got to go. And we went through went through a door. And when we got outside, his car was waiting for him. He has, must have a panic button or something on him or something. Or they track him because his boys were there. And then they jump in, and the guy pats me on the back and goes, you're okay. His bodyguard guy, and they took off. Because, like, nothing happened, and he, and he and you were cool. And they took off, and I was just like, who 
who the fuck was that? And I'm with him all night, and I had no idea who he is or whatever. But you see, I'm kind of famous for that because people see me and they're like, why are you always with these superstars? Who are you? What's your move? See your movie extraction. What's that? I'm saying if I seen it, then how would I be able to let you know? You know, that's what I'm saying. The odds of finding you on here again are one in a million. So like, yeah, that's what I'm saying. What, how, 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 what could we do? How could it happen? I don't know. I could just give you my email and whatever, if you could find something. This computer is lagging. I definitely need a stronger computer. Yeah, can you see that? Can you see that? Anybody call, come to this door, don't oh, know. snap! That's you right there. That Netflix picture looks dope. So when did this... When did this movie come out? Is it an action movie you're in? Shit, you're like James Bond. Dope. How old are you? If you don't mind me asking. You, uh, you, 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 you stay busy, that's good. I don't know, 33, 32? No, close, no. Oh wait, here's a good one. How old am I? You're 33. You're 33. Oh, you're 41. You're guessing I'm 33? Oh, shit. If I knew your address, I'd mail you a present right now. <laughs> oh, wow. Oh, no, boy. <clears throat> so you do know about the Mickey Mouse Club. You're old enough to know about that then. That's why I was like, yo, if I knew your... Sounds like... They're hoping if you spin the chamber enough times, you're going to catch a bullet. This is what you do, guy? This is some dope ass shit. This is what you do, bro? It's just easy that way. Well, what the hell? This is an extraction. So who the players? Biggest drug lord in India versus biggest drug. Guy, this is this is this is the real deal. Don't pass shit. Lord in Bangladesh. Oh, this shit, guy huh? left. Oh, man. Drug lord's son. Clock's running at 16 hours. Proof of life is of six hours ago. Man. Oh, man. Let's see what happens. Move fast. That's some dope. Real deal. How do I get involved with this kind of stuff? Something's wrong. Is he there? He's gone. Gone. The city's on lockdown. Yeah, no shit. The job is fucked, Tyler. That's some dope ass shit. That's what the guy does.